shared storage what is that if you had seen my playlist on asm i had given you how storage has evolved and it has come to a situation where generally database servers don't have local storage to keep database files they keep it in storage servers to improve availability and performance when we come into an rac database the very fact that multiple instances would have to talk to the same database it simply means the database should be on a shared storage wherein instance 1 and instance 2 which are running on two different nodes should be able to access the files read write do all operations that in general a single instance would have done but now i could have four nodes eight nodes in a cluster the shared storage should be capable of providing sufficient io capabilities as well as the ability for multiple nodes to do read write on the same set of files data files will be read and written to by multiple instances read log files will be written to by multiple instances and in case of a failure another instance will have to read the read logs of the failed instance and recover it so that your cluster is available that's the first part but at a clusterware level to maintain the cluster there is something called as a voting disk the voting disk is basically a storage pole every node should be clear that it is able to access the shared storage the logic is very simple if a user is connected to a particular instance he has performed a dml and he has performed a commit now this node on commit should write the changes into the read log file since the read log file is in shared storage this node should have access to the storage thereby all nodes should have access to the storage so that it can continue to be part of the cluster to identify this there are specific files called as voting disks which are part of the same shared storage in which the database files are kept to which every node will go and write a message saying that it is able to access it so when node 1 goes and writes it has voted saying it is able to access the shared storage then node 2 goes and writes and when it writes it also reads that node 1 was able to access it so thereby both nodes know which node is able to access the shared storage and they also keep polling saying they can access it if you had eight nodes in a cluster all nodes would be writing to this voting disk the significant thing that you need to remember here is when there are more nodes coming into the cluster the shared storage should have a lot more io capability the ability to read and write multiple io requests simultaneously so you need to size your shared storage accordingly this is the concept of a voting disk we'll come into more about voting disks when we talk about when node evictions occur specifically to take care of it voting disks are generally odd in number you could have just one voting disk three voting disks or five voting disks basically to ensure we can identify a majority voting disks are kept in an odd number so this is the idea behind shared storage and we'll look at more in upcoming videos